All right, friends, we're back with another video on the, the uh, steroid slave, Dr. Tony Huge, biohacking himself. <laughs> Mega versus light steroid cycles. <laughs> Comparison. I just love listening to this guy's funny, man. Let's ask some gym pros what their cycles are. We got some extremely opposite cycles here. One of these guys is taking the lowest dosage of steroids, and one of these guys. Yes, let's know the gym bros' cycles. The, this guy's on a cycle back there. Man, he's wasting his time. <laughs> Guys is taking the highest dosage of steroids that you've ever heard of. What's the point of taking it looking like that? Uh, they're both gonna be extremely honest about what they're taking. That guy back there looks like nothing, man. Anybody can achieve that without taking cosmetics. I'll go first because mine's the easiest. I'm natty right now. What, Dr. Tony Huge is natty? The natty is a day wasted. Yeah, I'm natty because I, every once in a while I take a little break from gear, but I always- He's not natty, man. He's on cosmetics. He's taking cosmetics. They're in his blood circulating. Doesn't matter if you stop. Takes a whole year for it to completely drain out. I always do a PCT, mm -hmm. so I, I prevent like a lot of the side effects of low testosterone during that period of time. And this time, I found the most effective PCT that I've ever done. I'm taking Prohormone 3 AD, which is an anabolic prohormone that actually increases my testosterone, so perfect for PCT. I'm taking Enclomiphene, which is raising my luteinizing hormone, follicle-stimulating hormone, regenerating my fertility and natural testosterone production, and blocking the effects of potentially elevated estrogen. After a steroid cycle, along with natural testosterone boosters and weightlifting and sex to get my uh, testosterone back. And I feel pretty good. I've lost a lot of size, but I feel good. All right, Ken, what's your cycle? I'm on diet right now, so I'm cutting down. I take 350 tests a week, 200 Primo, 200 milligram of DHB, and that's dihydroboldenone, and pre workout 20 milligram of. Holy shit, man, this guy's taking everything in the box. To do what, though? To look like that? What the fuck, man? It's crazy. And also AC262. Oh my god, and he's taking AC262. This is insane, man. Three, over 900, 950 fucking milligrams of fucking drugs. The fuck? It's crazy. That's one pill a day. I don't know how much milligram that is. 10 milligrams. 10 milligram a day. Yeah. yeah. Wow. That is a very healthy cycle. That's actually a variety. And that's the best he could do? That look back there? Taking all that? Man, I look like that just walking around. <laughs> and better. Any of different low side effect compounds that are all are known for being drying and hardening steroids, give you some power in the gym while you're dieting. I can see that your muscles are flat because yeah, normally yeah. you're much more vascular. Normally veins yeah, are I'm popping sure. and the veins yes. aren't popping. They're popping? How big is you how big you think his arms are? They look like seventeen. Maybe sixteen. Look like sixteen inches. Doesn't look anything, man. What the fuck? So you look smaller, but I can tell Tony Huge looks way bigger than him. Yeah, but Tony Huge is on huge, astronomically <laughs> high amounts of uh, steroids. And uh, he eats a lot of carbs, man. A lot. For sure that if you carved up, you would look pretty awesome. So, I hope so. let's see. Cycle. see. There you go. They all tell you right away. If I carb up, I'll look, I'll look awesome. Yeah, because sarcoplasmic hypertrophy is based on carbing up. It's an artificial muscle growth. So if you're taking artificial drugs, what are you doing? Drawing this glycogen into the muscle and you're building phony muscles. And rest the cardio in the morning with two of you or so grow some more. What's the point? Uh, have you, are you having any What's the point of taking all these drugs, drugging the shit out of yourself, destroying your organs, just so you can hold glycogen in your muscle because you want to walk around with a cosmetic look and pretend that you're big and strong. This is crazy. Side effects? No, no side effects so far. Just a little bit lethargic because I don't eat enough. Uh, but for that reason, I'm not hungry. I'm on a semi so oh, I'm, not, I'm not hungry. <laughs> are you going to do a carb up day or something sometime? Or are you going to just go all the way until you're like... Um, today, I plan to do a carb up day, but I still have to eat a lot. So I, I plan today and tomorrow to have two carb up days. I didn't do it. Yes, I will do the carb up day so I can get the pump up day. So I can pump up my fake muscles with carbohydrates. Yeah, man, this is, what they, this is what I'm trying to explain to people out there. They don't understand anything about steroids, how steroids work. Steroids do not build muscles. Protein builds muscles and the progenitor cell, these myonuclei, 
They build muscle cells, build, build muscles. Boy, steroids, they do not build muscles, man. But they'll build you some fake cosmetic muscles if you eat carbs. Since two weeks. Okay. Yeah. All right, so there we have, like, the low-dose cycle. Um, and now we've got the high-dose cycle. So get it the frame here. They're wondering how big your arms are. Medium high. They're like, high. this guy takes a lot. No, how no, big are his arms? No pump. No pump. Okay. No pump. <laughs> yeah, no pump also. They haven't worked out yet. No pump. Haven't been to the gym in a week. Okay. All right. No pump, haven't been to the gym in a week. Wow, a week, ooh, that's like the most time. If I go take off a week, oh my God, for God forbid, the pump, oh, those little phony, phony muscles will start to go. <laughs> that's how, this, are, this is the mentality, bro. <laughs> this guy, what he's thinking in his head is crazy. What the fuck? He's so self-conscious. Oh, I'm the pump, bro. Uh, oh my God, you don't want to see me without a pump. <laughs> Fucking it's full with carbs and his body's gross to walk around with all that carbohydrate shit. All right, uh, so I have the numbers written down here daily. I do injections daily uh, to keep everything smooth in terms of testosterone and then say I... See, a day, a day natty, a day natural is a day wasted because... Heh, do you think that you can't put that on eating bowls and bowls of potato? You can if you focus on glycogen loading. I told you before, muscles are built like this. Protein synthesis needs to exceed this breakdown. That's how muscles are built. Okay, what happens when glycogen exceeds that breakdown? Well, you start building these glycogen muscles really fast because you're all endurance athletes anyways in the gym chronically lifting. Might as well just eat bowls and bowls of potato. You don't even need protein. You don't need fuck all. Just a... 50 pound bag or 100 pound bag of potatoes, just wolf them down every day. Eat two, three bowls a day, and I guarantee you, your muscles are going to blow up like a mother. You're gonna look like you're on steroids. I do 150 milligrams a day, which is half a mil is what I use. Now, as far as your body type, I can't tell you if you're a mesomorph, endomorph, or ectomorph. If you're an ectomorph, you're gonna look way better if you blow them up with potatoes. Definitely way better. You're gonna look like on steroids, man. So that works out to 1,050 milligrams, just over a gram. Primo E, I chose that because I'm not super a fan of Boldenon. Masteron is okay, but I wanted something that would give me a nice chill feeling uh, that I could up and down as much as I can. Wouldn't really, uh, you know, affect me in a bad way that I had to choose my other steroids carefully. And even though it is pricey, I think it's pretty good. Uh, I like it. I'm running it at Primo E, 75 milligrams. Yeah, I mean, most Primo comes in 100 milligrams a mil. So, yeah, that'll feel as if I'll just to reverse engine. Honestly, I don't even know if this is an old video or a video or a new video that he's making here. It's hard really to say. Here really quickly, so how much? Which a lot of people find it only great for bulking, but I think in doses you control your diet. Wait, 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 wait. you're doing? Are you cutting right now? Every, I'm doing everything. I'll, I'll take. Are you cut. cutting and I, at the same time? I, <laughs> a cutting cycle and a bulking it's, cycle. It's a recall. He's cutting and he's bulking. Test and primo, and then. Trust a, I don't know what that is, but whatever. A recomp. Oh, okay. So it's a, it's a 10 year long recomp. So, so kids, recomp. so I think it's a good dosage. <laughs> good dosage. Uh, if somebody's got to make yeah. a chart. Holy shit, man. It's taking everything in the book, too, as well. Huh. Shit. These are anabolics. Primo is an anabolic. Trust, trend, trend, I don't know, man. It could be considered that. It's hard to say. A trend will, chart of like, yeah. okay, a little bit of trend and you yeah. get horny a little bit, of, and then like at the top. You know, people really like like Winsdrill V. Uh, they like Winsdrill. They like Primo, Primo Balling, because it gives them that nice cosmetic look, that ripped, cosmetic, beautiful look. They're higher on the anabolic side than the andro androgen side. So they're not going to look super big uh, because it won't draw as much glycogen into the muscle as, because try to keep you dry as testosterone's will. They draw more of this glycogen in the muscle, giving you a fuller look. That's why people look odd on a bulk, they look odd on off season, these bodybuilders. And then on season, they take these cutting drugs and they just look so dried out. Pop is like, you murder your family. <laughs> there are side effects. You're 37. 37, yeah. And you've been doing gear for 10 years. No, uh, a little bit less. 37, he's already old, man, come on. It's a little bit less. Uh, okay. I don't think so. I'm gonna like, you'll still hear some things. The things they really wanted to kill, like marijuana, testosterone, etc. They've had so much funding in terms of research from the government, right? You have to filter through falsified information, obviously, which has become easier over time, but. We hear about like so and so died from steroids last year, but 
Let's talk about the 1,000 times more people that died from other things yeah. that had no benefit. I will have to agree, man. People die from all shit, all kinds of shit out there. It's not the steroids that are killing you, to tell you the truth. They are toxic. They could hurt you, I guess, if you're taking crazy dosages. But um, it's uh, what you're doing with them, running your body, running your body through the ground, <laughs> lifting crazy heavy weights. Because that's what steroids do. It's like a rush of ad adrenaline. Injected yourself with adrenaline and now you're running around trying to lift these heavy weights like an idiot go and screaming and yelling and going, yo, buddy, <laughs> and I'm destroying my body better than the last time, but all, <laughs> yeah, man. Do it. Like steroids have this yeah. huge benefit. Estrogen? Yeah. Uh, I do. I take half a tab of Eximostain three times a week. So that well, works. Estrogen for aromatase, yes, yes. All this work just for a cosmetic look is insane, eh? Can you think about that, man? To put in all this work just for a cosmetic look, it's just crazy. Yeah, I, what else? And is that, is that everything? Yeah, it would be interesting, like, let's say, like, increasing my dosage by 50% or 100% just to see if there is any... This guy is absolutely nuts, the German guy. Oh, my God. Any difference? Yeah, see what happens. I see nothing. See to break some PRs or... I see nothing there. I see nothing. Just a waste of time. To look better on the stage than another guy. So what gave you the idea to do this cycle? What is your experiment? What are you hoping at the end of such a big cycle you're, you're going to... My experiment is to see how I could look good for a short time and see how much I could destroy my health in the long run. <laughs> like, yeah. Size with actual strength behind it. You know, everyone wants to be strong. Size with strength. You're going to get strength automatically. It's a molecule. It's going to bind with the androgen receptor, giving you more force production. What the hell are you talking about? And it has nothing to do with your size because glycogen does not make you strong. Okay? I'm going to quickly say they're not a lie. Everyone wants to be bigger. Anyone that says they're not a lie. So I want See, they want to fake it. You, get, you understand what's going on here? He's like, yeah, I want to get stronger and bigger. I want to get big wax. He wants you to believe that because he got bigger and now he's taking injection of steroids that he's actually strong. So he's going to try to convince you that water in the muscle, which doesn't really increase strength, but you seeing him lift a heavy weight, you're going to go, oh, he got bigger. Therefore, he got stronger. <laughs> you understand the fool in that? Let's see how long uh, I can get this cycle before it feels like I'm not getting anything out of it. Oh. To see if I can do a long one. So I usually don't... on this to see yeah. like how far you can go and once it plateaus and you're like, all right. Yeah, and, and, uh, you come and adjusting. No, 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 just I'll go to a TRT. I'd be swollen, swollen, friends of freedom, pioneer. Yes, I'll adjust, go on TRT. This is insane, man. I'll see you in the next one. Tell you think about that. Like, subscribe, support the channel. See you in the next one, friends. Ha <laughs> ha.